Good morning everyone, this is going to be a review video and I'm going to be reviewing Magnetic Eyelashes. Now this is the box that it came. I'm not going to open the box and show you just yet, because it's quite funny. Well, I think so anyway, but I just want to give you a bit of a lowdown about what they are, how much they cost and where I got them, etc. I saw them being popped up on Facebook, I've seen on YouTube, so they've been around for a while. They're magnetic eyelashes, basically. They're false eyelashes with little magnets on, and you've got a top one and a bottom one that you're supposed to push together. Easy to come off, easy to put on, no glue, no hassle, looks natural brilliant and obviously you know they last forever as long as you look after them I suppose so sounds amazing and I've seen a few videos and yeah some people seem to be really impressed with them so I thought oh I saw a 50% off discount on a, I think it was a Facebook pop-up possibly I think it's called choicesone.com the website and I'll link it down below I think the cost was I think it's about £12 and then I paid postage and packaging on top which come to around £18 altogether. So I thought it's not too bad a price especially if I fall in love with them and they last me forever and I don't have to wear fake lashes ever again. Well not the ones with glue anyway. They came from abroad and it took a good say four to six weeks to arrive. I completely forgot about them and then all of a sudden they arrived in the post in a little, pa in a little bag packaging but no information, no leaflet, no invoice, no information on how to use them, nothing. It just came like this and there's nothing inside except for the lashes. So that shocked me a little bit because I thought after opening them up and everything, I thought it would have been quite nice to have something to show you, like a little how-to guide on how to put them on properly, but they didn't. So never mind. So yeah, it took a good, like, oh, just over a month to arrive, so quite a while. At first, I opened it up. And I was thinking, uh, what have I been sent here? So you can see one there and one there. They're just loose, nothing to protect them really. They're fine, you know, they're in a box, they're not gonna get damaged, but it's just a bit of a strange packaging. It's, yeah, just a bit odd. I can't describe it, but you know, they're fine, they're safe, they're not gonna get damaged. It's a secure box, you know, it's, it's fine. So anyway, this is what they look like. So you can see the little lashes just stuck together. What I'll do, because my arm is bending all backwards, I'll just show you individually. So there's four, but obviously split into two because you need two on each eye, one on bottom, one on the top of your natural lashes. There, I'm just grabbing the end of an eyelash. So you can see along the strip there, there's a tiny, tiny little magnet, tiny magnet. So the magnet doesn't go all the way across but it's just a tiny little section and they're all the same. They all look the same. They're all the same shape. This is the shape of them. I'll show you what it looks like on me as my makeup is now with a little bit of makeup on and then I'll take my makeup off my eyes and just show you what it looks like on natural eyelashes. So I'll put these back in the box for now and I'll read you a little bit of information about what they claim to do on their website. So this, as I said, it's Choices One and it's currently, yeah, 50% off, £11.10 and then it's postage and packaging on top. It says, the eyelashes you are wearing are too fake. Magnetic false eyelashes with a luxurious length and volume can definitely bring you the most natural look ever. What's more, it's reusable. Try the best selling lash and be the spotlight at all time. Okay. Can be applied instantly without clumsy glue. Light like feather, which, which no one, not even yourself, knows they're wearing the lash. Newly launched magnetic technology ensures your lash at its ideal place. Secure to be used every day for the patented glue will do no harm to the skin of natural eyelashes. And it says, extremely high demand, expect two to four weeks for shipping, limited three per person. So no, mine was more like four to six weeks shipping, but um, all the reviews are wonderful. So yeah, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But yeah, let's try it on my own eye, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just cut in a little bit, stick my hair behind my ears, excuse my roots. My roots are looking rather grey and <laughs> not very attractive. I've got a hair colour to do which I'm going to lob on at some point in the next day or two. So I'm going to put it on top of my eyelash there. 
and then sticking and sticking that one underneath. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> mm, nice. Uh, let me go a bit closer. No, you can definitely see when I push down, when I push down the lashes, you can see that they're not to the root. Ah, oh, and they're coming up. Okay, let's pull them off. Ow. Right, let's try again. Stick that to the root, which it is. I got the other ones now. Hello. <laughs> that one looks a bit better. I think I pushed it in closer. So that one looks a little bit better, but what does it look like? It's blurring. Nope. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Hold on. Using tweezers. Let's see if I can grab these. No. Oh my word, look how awful that is! <gasps> look! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why can't I do it? Why can't I try the other thing? I'll try the other finger. I'll try my other eye. Um, on top. I will try it without makeup so it's easier for you lot to see. Because I know makeup is making it harder. Oh, it felt like one drop then. No? I think putting the top one there is fine. It seems to stay put. Oh, but because of the magnetic, it pulls quickly. So I mean, I'm looking back here now. Woo, focus. So looking back here, they don't look too bad. They feel all right. Well, not really. They don't, they're not too bad. <laughs> You see from the side. <laughs> Whoa, that is some eyelash. You can see the. It is. It is. Ah. It's not too bad. Not too bad. But if I go in close, you'll see better now without makeup. But it's not to the root. Oh, might as well. If I was to sit back here, you wouldn't know that they're not reaching my. Um, you wouldn't know that they're not reaching the roots of my eyelashes, especially because I've got makeup on and thick eyeliner, which disguises it. So maybe for photography work or something quick, where you want, you know, some eyelashes quickly, great. But for day to day, no, I wouldn't. I'm gonna take them off. I'm gonna take them off and then I'm going to come back without any eye makeup on and try with bare naked lashes. <laughs> I haven't taken all my makeup off so excuse me if I look a bit weird with really dark <laughs> rough looking eyes and then patch. Look at that. That is really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Never mind. Ignore it. Ignore it. It's, I'm just doing this to show you what the lashes look like on my bare lashes. So look at my naked ones. You can see they're very thin. So right, let's get on to this. <laughs> right then, who goes? Stick that there, and stay there. Stay there, and stick this. Ah! <laughs> calm, Claire, calm. And try it again.
when they're on, what do they look like? <laughs> that looks wonderful. Yeah, it looks really natural. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, definitely much better applying when you've got mascara on your lashes because I think it just gives something to hold on to. So just trying the other ones now. Ah, right then, I'm getting the other root. Right. Right, what's that look like? Come on. Focus. There. <laughs> you can see. And what's it look like? How close? Hmm. Again. What's it look like under there? No. No, it keeps on missing. It doesn't go right down to the root. It doesn't go down. So what about if I try? No, it just wants to attract. <laughs> it's a... Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm really sorry. This is such a bad review. Really bad review. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't do it. Um, no, they just don't stay on my eyelashes. I think before I took my makeup off, <laughs> I look rough, never mind. Before I took my makeup off, they did seem to stick to my lashes, but obviously from you, when you had a look in closely, you could see that it was all ski whiff. It wasn't attached to my root nicely. I don't know how it would be. I think you could potentially get the top one to rest really nicely on your lash line but as soon as you introduce a second one it's the magnetic force it moves it it moves it plus the magnetic strip is only on a tiny section of the lash you know look again it's only a tiny section of the lash so what's going to happen to these the ends here are left to dislodge and go up and down and stuff. No, I think me personally, I regret buying them. They are useless. <laughs> but if you have tips on how best to apply them and if I've got it all wrong, again this is first impressions, so this is the first time I've had a try, first time I've properly got them out and tried to figure out what to do with them, first time everything, so yeah, besides watching a few videos of some professionals putting them on, <laughs> I don't know what else to do, but if, you, if, but if you've got a pair or if you've seen some great tips, please let me know because I'd be curious to see, because I don't want to just bin them straight away I just you know it's a lot of money I don't just want to throw them aside I do want to see if they can work but if there's no hope there's no hope it could be me it could be me I'm just clumsy and yeah so I think I think from what I've learned from it is that if you've got mascara on and you've got some thick eyeliner on like I did in the first part of this video then applying them whether they're skew if or not you know whether they're not following your lash line or not if they're a bit wonky um, it doesn't really matter if you want if you want something to apply quickly for a photo if you want or I don't know for a video like this or something then fine if you sat back here you're not going to notice it you're not going to notice that um, you've got really horrendous fake lashes on <laughs> oh, no mind um, look forward to seeing what your comments are and if you've got any tips please let me know but if you like this video please leave me a like and yeah if you'd like to see more please subscribe to my channel thank you bye